It is here that our story begins. A story different from any you have read before. And we are being visited by a being of your sound. New York City made it an next objective. Looks to me like the work of one man. Is... Color, is that your face? You're wearing a mask. I invite you now to listen and we wish you every success. Guys, here I am at one of my favorite places in the world, Manhattan Beach, and I've got a new electric skateboard and a new vlogging camera. So let's do a little exploring down here. It's such an amazing day. It's probably in the 80s, beautifully sunny, and it's extremely nice. Guys, I am so excited because this is my new electric skateboard. It's made by the same company that makes my drone unique, and it's called the Ego Board. Um, it's a single motor drive at the back here. Unique is a uh, world leader motor technology for aviation and they've passed some of that technology along onto this board and also onto the drone. I really love their products, uh, great price point on it. So it's a single drive here um, with the gear on the back. It's a bamboo deck. It's got these oversized orange wheels which just make it cruise super smooth. It has a range of about 18 miles and it'll go up to 13 miles an hour. Um, I wasn't really looking for speed because I'm gonna use it for commuting. They are putting a new light train line in um, from Culver City over to Santa Monica. So I'll skateboard over to the, to the depot in Culver City, take the train to Santa Monica, and then straight up 17th Street to the store. So I'm all good there. Also, so what it is, it's a Bluetooth wireless controller. So you've got a slider on here. Um, faster up and then you just pull it back to brake. It only goes forward, they don't have it go backwards. Not an issue for me. Um, then it's got a couple settings on here. It's got a sport and an eco. Unique puts a rabbit and a turtle if you just want like a beginner or an advanced mode. So what I do is I run it in uh, the rabbit mode but then on eco so I get more battery life. Basically what it does is it just it doesn't accelerate as quick, but I'm perfectly fine with that. It just displays flashes to show you how the battery's doing on the remote or on the skateboard. Also too, what's really cool is it's got this big giant ass battery on the bottom here and you can actually plug uh, an iPhone in to charge it or whatever it takes a U USB charge. You can just plug it straight into the board and pull some power off that. I was just looking for a board that had a lot of range and this did it. I don't really have to go super fast. 10 miles an hour is plenty fast for me to get around. So we brought it down here to Manhattan Beach, kick it around, break it in, have some fun. Let's go. guys it's uh, fairly windy down here and I don't have a, a muff covering the microphone on the camera so I apologize if it's windy if it's too windy I won't use this but basically I just wanted to express my joy and my love for this board it is awesome it's so fun just standing on this uh, it's crazy just cruising around just standing enjoying the enjoying the beautiful beach I used to have rollerblades that I came down and I did this tour with and uh, it's just really nice just to stand here 
and watch the world go by. You feel so immersed in it. And of course the air is just super fresh because we are right beside the ocean here. So it's really awesome. It's a little bit of a learning curve to hold onto the camera and then hold the controller and do that at the same time, but uh, I'm sure I'll we'll get used to it pretty quick. And then obviously get out of the way of people too as we're zooming by. I'm not really going crazy on the speed. I'm probably going about half speed on this and uh, just zooming along here. There's lots of people down at the beach today just because it's so awesome. And um, I don't really feel the need to go a lot faster right now. I was going like full speed before just to get a feel of it. And, uh, but I'm just trying to keep an eye on, on the vlogging and the not banging into other people aspect of things. But I gotta say it is so fun and today is like the absolute perfect day for it down here. I'm just rolling my way into Hermosa Beach. I'm just going up the Hermosa Pier. This board is rated for about a 10 degree slope, but no problem going up that slope. So I'm standing on the Hermosa Pier and we are going to make our way way up there to Manhattan Beach Pier. I just wanted to show the flashing lights on this. So the green is for the board. When it flashes four times, the board is fully charged. The blue is for this controller. When that flashes four times, it's fully charged. So I've been out on this for like half an hour buzzing around and I've still got a full charge. As you know, proper foot stance is key to surfing or skateboarding. So I've just come here to ask this gentleman if he can give me any pointers, because I'm just trying to figure out where to put my feet on the skateboard, moving it around. But he seems like he's got his like figured out pretty good. So I'm just on my way to the pier, Manhattan Pier from Hermosa Pier. Just wanted to check the board to see if there was any issues with uh, temperature, because I've been going full out for about three quarters of the way. Totally cool and no heat at all. So I'm loving this board. This is something that you don't want to go slip sliding through. Whole bunch of sand. And it's just, you know, obviously it's so close to the beach. Sand just starts to make its way up here. Usually they sweep it off, but I gotta watch today that I don't go for a spill. I made it here to the Manhattan Beach Pier and I've got four blinks of green on the controller showing me that I've got a full battery left and we came from way down there at Manhattan Beach Pier and I was probably doing 80 to 90 to 100 percent of full speed on this thing so i'm peaking over 10 miles an hour getting great battery life so i want to go out and have a look at the waves we're going to do a little bit of walking because of this sign here I just wanted to show you guys the real difference between Hermosa Beach and Manhattan Beach and it sums it up a lot with this sign. Hermosa Beach, you go on the pier, you skateboard, it's like, dude, whatever, dude, just go out there, do a little skateboarding. Here, Manhattan Beach is like, we don't skateboard on the pier now, do we, dear? There's no skateboarding, motorbiking, or having fun at all. <laughs> to Manhattan Beach is going upstairs to a restaurant called Lemonade where I get my favorite all-time chicken sandwich ever created the buttermilk chicken sandwich I absolutely love it this is my new Canon G7X this is the first time I've really actually used it and I've heard a lot of issues about the batteries being very uh, minimal on this and I just got one battery and I'm really, really low on this battery just because I've been shooting so much stuff at the ocean. So I'll try and squeeze as much battery power out of this as I can before I take it home and charge it up and I'm gonna order a couple more batteries so I always have them in the loop and don't have this problem anymore. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys this new camera that I got, it's a Canon G7X and it's awesome. It has this uh, screen that can 
rotate over through the back. It's got touch screen on here so you can always have the face in focus or whatever you need to focus. You just tap it and it'll focus so it'll throw my face out of focus. Now it's focusing on the windshield here and I just touch back on my face and it'll bring my face back in focus. It's got a 1.8 aperture on it so it can open up and let a lot of light in in low light conditions. Um, it's got an equivalent of a 24 to 100 zoom lens on it, which is really great. It zooms in pretty good. It's very light. Um, unfortunately, it seems like the batteries kind of suck on it, but there you go, dead. Anyway, love the camera, just need to get more batteries. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, lemonade. Inside that door is my favorite chicken sandwich ever. Yeah, that actually sucks a lot. Okay, so since lemonade is closed, I'm gonna make the best of this situation. I'm gonna take lemonade and I'm gonna make lemons. No, 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 that's not right. All right, guys, I am back in the car with my main man, Mo, right there. And we are off to Santa Monica, California, to the store. here in Santa Monica the store is just up the street Carol has got her parking spot so I've just parked down the street here's the concept I've got the unique board there got the controller in my hand I have Mo on a leash let's see what happens go 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 yes go come on come on let's go let's go Boy. There he goes. There he goes. Good boy. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait, wait, wait. All right, so we made it there. Worked out really good. What a good boy. Good boy. So guys, I am going to end the vlog right here. Thank you so much for watching. I always appreciate you guys watching. And of course, subscribe. Love when you comment down below, even if it's something simple. Just love to see the way you guys see the world, the perspective you have on what I'm doing or what you're doing. Just let me know what's going on. Comment down below. Also, give this a thumbs up if you like it. Give it a thumbs up if you don't like it. Once again, guys, thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Keep it going, eh?